Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. On my bench here is an Alienware Aurora R5, hardly a year old. Customer says he accidentally spilt wine in the computer. But she had a table, I guess, that was next to this computer and the wine glass fell and then the wine streamed in right in the top part here and it went and then the computer just shut off and uh, wouldn't ever turn back on which trying to turn it on probably wasn't a smart thing but uh, it is what it is I have already taken the side cover off and uh, that's easily done by removing a screw here and uh, pulling pulling this lever and the side panel comes off pretty darn easy so let's lay it down here and I'm going to show you here there's a lever on this side that you can use to unlatch this this just comes up as a module module here. Hard to do this with one hand, man, but now that this is up all the way, I take my flashlight and let's start. Mmm, I smell sweetness. Sweet wine smell from inside this computer. Well, we'll see. Oh goodness. Ooh, I'm seeing purple wine stains. As you can see on the memory lockdowns there on the on the latching switches, I can see. I can see some. Uh, I can see some wine on the USB three port cables. I can see it splashed onto that M.2 card. Um, I can see bits of it. It looks like on some of those MOSFETs that are there. I can see it kind of sprayed and scattered. There's a fan right here. So it fell through that fan and kind of sprayed all around. I can see it in several places. Just kind of misted. But I see it mostly here. On the memory. What I can see here, so I mean, it doesn't look. I see some right there too. I think it doesn't look too too bad, but you know as well as I do, all it takes is a little bit. So, hmm. Well. We can do is try to start taking this apart. I don't really see anything around the processor area. So, I mean, I don't see any obvious size. It's definitely dry. So, let's just try to put some power to it and see if we get anything. See if it's good or not. So, actually, what I've done, so I've removed the Oh, and look at that. I've removed the 24 pin. That's got junk in it. Oh, man, look at that down there. That went, that's right into the pins of the 24 pin socket. Oh, you can see it down in there. Oh, not good. So I've removed, uh, I've removed that. I removed the SATA connector from the drive. I have removed. Ooh, I see it here too on the. That's for the GPU power. Where is that? Oh, it's right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's bad. Oh, you can see that. It's blurry. Yeah, really, really bad there. Not good, and I've removed the uh, 
other power connector. Don't really see much wrong with that. Mm. Still no green light, everyone. Not good. <clears throat> I think the best bet here to be to remove this entire motherboard. And let's just clean. Let's just clean everything up. Shouldn't be too bad to get out though, really. Just disconnect all these cables. There's another. Wait, there's another um connector there. Let me Pull that one, see what that looks like. Oh. Purple stuff all over that too, it looks like. You can see purple all down in there too. Not good, man, not good. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. We're going to remove this video card, which consists of just taking off this support bracket. And just pulling it out of the slot, which is what I'm going to do. And then just disconnect all these different cables from the board. And then just take out these screws here that are holding the motherboard in place. And just remove the board. And uh, clean it up and see if we can get uh, get it to come back to life. Yikes. Oh my gosh, I just realized this. So I'm looking at this 24-pin uh, connector here. And I'm going, wow, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. That purple there. You know, that's... That's pretty bad, right? And I'm going, that's not good. But then I didn't even notice, but, but look at this. You can see a little bit of purple there. But then I flip it over. Oh my God. Oh man. You know, that's... That's not good. That, that's just... That's really not good. And he tried powering this thing on too after the fact. So I would say the power supply is shot. This goes to the motherboard. Purple stuff all in it too. So anyway, let's get this apart. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to take it all out and test each component, but uh, he's lucky if anything in this thing works. Wow. Okay, so I've got some new RAM into this computer. Just got it in some new DD4. And uh, we're going to check to see if there's any, any difference or if we get any post from this computer. So we'll just give it some power. And everything starts up. Fan spins up even higher. This is a known good video card here. But I am still not getting any post. So what I've done is I've actually gone through and moved this memory module to each slot, powering it on. I'm getting no change. Like I say, no good card. Power's getting to the board, obviously. I've reset the CMOS several times. Um, I would say we either have a dead processor or a dead motherboard or both, unfortunately. But that's really no surprise considering what this has been through. I've tested the NVMe drive here. That works. My next step is to test his video card in a known, 
in a, in a, in a known good motherboard. You know, it is what it is, and this is what happens when you get liquid spills in your computer. Not good. Tim's Computer Fix.net is where you can find me. Hope this helps somebody out. Until next time, everyone. See you soon.